Hey guys, John Vapor Honing Technologies here today with a Honda CT90 cylinder head. This was sent in by a customer who is interested in the process but has no idea what the results are going to be for him. And so firsthand, he wanted to see this in person. I highly recommend this to anyone concerned about this process or have any questions about it. Send a part in, we'll do it for free. There's no charge for that. Here's a great example of what we've done for this customer or potential customer. We've masked half of the entire item, which you can see here, half and half. Obviously, this is the crusty, dirty side before we treated it, and this is the after. Huge results. What this is gonna tell you is if you wrench on anything, maintain, or build anything, vapor honing can be used in your business or your hobby. Hands down, there's no question about that. We've proven this week in and week out. A couple things to point out here. We are not changing dimensional tolerances on this part. This is an aviation process. This is where vapor honing started, it was in the aviation world. So obviously in the aviation world, they're not gonna use anything that damages the surface of a part because we're flying through the air here. We're not flying on this part here. This is on the road, this is on the ground. This part is being cleaned very well. What we're exposing are potential cracks, potential damage to the part, and certainly a lot of erosion here on the surface from corrosion in the past. But sealing surfaces are good on these parts. You're not, again, you're not eating out and eating away at material. I know this part is assembled, that's what the customer wanted. They just wanted to see what this process looks like. They said this head was scrap. But huge drastic differences on the finishes. You cannot get this in the time frame um, that we were able to achieve this result. There's no other process in the world that can do this. Um, and if there is, challenge us. We want to see it. But we've been there, done that. There's no other way to do these types of processes. And don't tell me glass beading, because I've seen glass beading, they get stuck in the aluminum. That does not happen here because we are suspending abrasive in water and flowing it across the surface. So as the old statement goes, where water can go, we can go as well. And so that's a huge, huge advantage here in the vapor hunting world. So hopefully this answers some questions about what a before and after would be, or a half and half. You can see a dramatic difference in this part. So if you have questions about your application or concerns, give the sales team a call or shoot them an email. They're always here and happy to help. Again, thanks for watching.